maybe if this world was populated by my words, you'd better understand me when I say my homies are hungry. Or your sister is starving. Or your son has AIDS. There are rusted syringes in the sandbox we're playing at. Recently, full moons find me in an abandoned parking lot praying for two kids that aren't even mine, like if I lay them down to sleep. But then this poem's fair constantly interrupted by a drive-by hum of blasting an MC asking me, what time is it? I do not know. I'm starting to wear that time is no longer a relative of mine. I disowned them long ago when he refused to move past 1810. For some days, it feels like slavery did not end. This is the era of the not be, the define who I am by what I not be like. Your eyes on brown, so you're not Mexican, but you're not white, so you're not American, but you carry yourself well and speak nice, so you're not like the rest of them. What is this rest of them that I'm not? At this point, this poem has become another attempt to find an original metaphor of saying we got third world children in first world streets and fathers who beat their daughters black and blue, followed by I love you. They later blossom into battered wives who realize what poets can't. Words are worthless if they can't stop at this and still don't know what I mean. Maybe it would help you if you started sporting your soul instead of that diamond Jesus piece around your neck. Someday this world will be populated by my words, so you might finally understand me when I say our children are hungry and finally have enough common sense of urgency to feed them. beautiful because when I turn on the news and I say this is the same stuff we're supposed to live in, I don't want to be seen. And I remember thinking, man, the world sucks. <laughs> I ain't going to get a job. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, why do I got dressed this way? Why got I take this class? The teacher hates me. And I used to uh, have friends who write. And uh, we play a lot of basketball. And every night we go, we play for like four hours, pick a ball, walk two hours to the Safeway, get a quart of orange juice, walk back, just freestyle. Mm -hmm. And everyone who's speaking about what's going on in Iraq weren't born in Iraq. And everyone who speaks about what's going on in Watts weren't born in Watts. And I was like, you know what? The only way that's going to change is if we start writing and telling our own stories. And so that's when I actually started, like, that's why I say I'm a street journalist. I will brush it for a living. What brought me to LA? Um, 99, I actually left Colorado. I was living there for a couple of years, right two months before Columbine happened. Um, I lived about 30 miles from there. And I ended up in Riverside, of all places, 909. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, God, how the hell you end up there? I was like, I asked the same question. How the hell did I end up there? I like a lot of teachers, because you know, I'm always with my teachers, because I'm always talking. One of my favorite teachers is a teacher, my English teacher for eighth grade. Um, he was a monster, but um, he tried to teach us about our history to show us where we came from, to kind of push us towards where we should be. I go to the schools, you know, I teach at this uh, school, you know, and I work with teachers on developing their curriculum, you know, basically your homework, you know, and your classwork, and the ways to use like video and poetry and spoken word in the classroom. But unfortunately, not every teacher cares, you know, and not every teacher is there for you. And number one, we are beautiful people. You know what, first and foremost, we are beautiful inside and out. And I've had people yell at me. I've had people yell at epithets. I've had people call me spick, wetback. Someone called me a wop, which is Italian. I'm like, yeah, they're so confused. They, they got me like from another country and even I'm being insulted. You usually do bad in classes you don't care about. And so that's what hurts your GPA, you know, because you get like the 2.0, get the C plus, the C minus, the D. When you transfer from the community college to the university, you start over all over again. So I started over with a 4.0 after I transferred from the community college. So when I graduated, I had like a 3.993, even though like in community college, I didn't do that well. From there, and then I'm finishing my master's at UCLA. Yeah.